Habits are a big part of our everyday life as human beings. There's a whole science behind the conscious and subconscious actions that we take which form habits in our everyday life. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that. But the bottom line for this video is there are good habits and there are bad habits. bad habit that I've kind of fallen into probably since the pandemic to be honest which has really started to affect the way that I approach my flying and and kind of act as a pilot Birmingham ground echo Zulu in the southern run-up bay received November request taxi 35 left up with the project Zulu taxi on point alpha 8 runway 35 left Not in alpha 8 35 left echo my problem is that I've started getting a little bit lazier with the flying that I've been doing. I've been kind of waking up in the morning thinking that I was going to go flying that day. Maybe I already had a bit of a plan under my belt ready to go, but I've just been bugging out on flights recently. I haven't been coming down to the airport as much as I'd want to. So this morning we've got really good weather for the next three hours and then there's this cloud front that's going to come in and it's going to be pretty gnarly here in Melbourne for the next kind of two or three days. I'm going to do one of my favourite flights. It's a short one, but one of my all-time favourite flights that you can do here in Melbourne. Fuel, fuel pump goes on, flaps are set, instruments, switches, PDA will go on in a second, yoke full and free, and we're ready to go over to tower, and then I will line up Essendon Tower, because that's the one I'm going to need next, once we've taken off. Echo Yankee Zulu, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Echo Yankee Zulu. Full power, temperatures and pressures are green, 70 knots. No runway, flaps go away. And in order to do this flight that I love doing, we need to get clearance into Melbourne's airspace from Essendon Tower, which I'll do next. Essendon Tower, OK, Yankee Zulu is a Cirrus, uh, four miles to the south of Albert Park Lake, 1,500. Receive Charlie, uh, receive Delta correction, request to right-hand city orbit. OK, Yankee Zulu, good day, Steph. Cleared to right city orbits at 1,500, remain east of Balti Bridge. Cleared to right city orbits, 1,500, east of Balti Bridge. Thank you, mate. Whenever there's a southerly coming across the city, it hits the buildings of the city and spills over the top and always gives you this turbulence on the north side. Like when you've flown this as many times as I've been lucky enough to fly it, you get used to it, but when you've got passengers, you always warn them at this point, okay, there's gonna be a couple of bumps, don't worry about it, and it'll be over in seven seconds, and seven seconds later, it's nice and smooth. Thank you. Yankee Zulu for this orbit, remain south of the Children's Hospital, thanks. Uh, south of Children's Hospital, Yankee Zulu, which means he wants me to keep it quite tight to the city because there must be some inbound traffic coming into Essendon just to give us some separation. Control service terminated. There's uh, two aircraft at 2,000 feet unverified in the uh, Point Ormond area. One tracking south, one tracking up the coast northbound. Good day. Thank you. Have a good day, mate. Thanks. Thanks. See ya. Traffic 12 o'clock. High one mile. Ah, uh, there he is. This bad habit that I've been falling into is I've been sitting at home and I've been grabbing my iPad and I've been planning these elaborate flights like, you know, I'm going to spend four weeks and fly around Australia or I'm going to take two weeks and fly up the east coast of Australia and I block out the time in my Google calendar and my wife who's really supportive is like, yeah, do it, you know, you'd be great. And then I get closer and closer to the time that I was planning to go away and then life gets in the way and work gets in the way and all of a sudden I find myself thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. And the problem with then going, okay, I'll pair it back into something smaller and maybe just do some local flying like I'm doing today, the trouble is then I'm comparing it to something and I'm comparing this local flight to this huge adventure that I was hoping to have. And the disappointment of not doing that adventure outweighs the potential benefit that I would have had of maybe just doing a nice scenic flight like I'm doing today or a local flight with friends. So I think I'm missing out on everyday great adventures like this because I'm just trying to build up too many... Actually, I don't want to be too close to Carib there. That's the inbound VFR reporting point. Everyone comes into that point when they're coming into Moravid at this level, so I just want to stay away from that. But what I've done is two things. The first thing that I've done is today, I've come down just to fly and do this quick scenic flight. I need to get the car back to my wife in an hour and a half, so I thought I've got a bit of time this morning, 
let's do a quick flight around Melbourne and just enjoy the fact that I'm very privileged and lucky to be able to do this. But the second thing that I've done is I've been getting in touch with a friend of mine in the UK, someone, if you've watched this channel for a while, you'll know. But I have been putting together one of those big plans because I've just had this itch that I want to scratch in terms of doing some flying overseas and actually executing and seeing through one of these big projects. And coming up, I hate doing this, coming up next, but coming next on the channel, there will be a mini-series, a really cool flying adventure that I've been planning for quite a while now, where we take another aircraft, not Echo Yankee Zulu, unfortunately, but a new aircraft for this channel to a brand new country on this channel, doing some flying, which I've never shown you this type of flying on the channel before. Just turn us around, start heading us back to Moravia now. And that's why the purpose of today's flight was, first of all, just to get a little bit of airtime on Echo Yankee Zulu, because I won't be flying this aircraft for a couple of weeks whilst I'm away. But also, yeah, to try and break out of that bad habit of, you know, I have to plan big things and maybe just appreciating the little things a little bit more. There's this layer of cloud up ahead, you can see on the wing camera, it's right on 1,500 feet, which is where we are at the moment. So I've just got to duck underneath it. I'm in uncontrolled airspace and I'm below 3,000 feet. So the requirement is to stay clear of that cloud. I could go over the top of it, but we need to be low down to get into Moravian anyway. So I'm just going to duck down to about 1,000 feet. The hardest thing to do is always to take the first step. To leave the house sometimes is way harder than to actually do everything that follows it. If you can just get that first one step done, I think you can then start to really change the way you approach life. Prima Tower, Echo Yankee Zulu at Karen 1500, inbound with Oscar. Echo Yankee Zulu, Maravin Tower, joint final, runway 35 left. Final 35 left, Echo Yankee Zulu. So, brakes, undercarriage down lock, mixture full rich, fuel pump goes on, switches are all checked, 35 left, 35 left, 35 left. Bring the power back a little bit. We're within flap speed. Traffic, two o'clock, high, one mile. Got him, first stage of flaps, second stage of flaps. Echo Yankee Zulu, clear to land. Clear to land, Echo Yankee Zulu. 90 knots, so start slowing us down to 80, and then threshold will be 78. Traffic, 12 o'clock, There's Stay so altitude, much traffic, left. thanks Echo Yankee Zulu, but I can see it all. All right, and we're down. So I guess the moral of the story, if there is a moral to this story, is that bad habits are everywhere. Everyone has them. But if you want to break out of a bad habit, like I wanted to of my kind of lazy flying habit, sometimes you just need to take that first step. You just need to, you just need to leave the house. You just need to get in the plane. You just need to turn the ignition key. You just need to go out to the run-up bay. And then before you know it, you'll be flying and having a brilliant day like I had today. I'm really glad I did that. That was great fun. <laughs>